Good evening. <laughs> oh my god. 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 So much. So much I cannot even explain. Um <sighs> Since the last time I talked to you, I've moved to New York City. <laughs> Woo! I'm finally here. And I just got back from the Apple Store, and I'm coming to you from my new MacBook Pro. <laughs> Did I have any money for this? No, I didn't. But I bought it anyway. It has been... I, I feel like it's been forever. I feel like we need a huge, huge update. So, I guess I should start. I... Like I said earlier, now live in New York City. I live in what they call Washington Heights at 158th and Broadway. I guess I shouldn't be giving out my address, but 158th and Broadway. Um, I found this apartment off of Craigslist. The apartment came about actually kind of by chance. I was coming into the city to see other apartments that evening and I think I had emailed Larry I'm not sure if I e I don't either way I got a phone call from him or a text message from him saying did you want to come see the apartment and I was like yes of course I'm already on my way into the city to see other ones I saw one that night and it was horrible and I was like no I can't live here um and then I went and came to this apartment and talked to Larry and we sat for probably a good 20, 30 minutes and just, we went over some stuff about the apartment, but eventually we were just talking about regular stuff and it was kind of fabulous. And I kind of knew then that I could live here. So later that night he texted me, he was like, um, please come live with us. So I did. And I'm here, and I love it. I am still working at The Gap, and still working at My Gap in Bridgewater. But this is my last week there. Now, that has been quite a fiasco, trying to find a job. I, st I started looking for a job when I started looking for apartments, and that was in December of 2009. And... I just now got a job. Today is March the 16th, 2010. And I just got a job. Maybe, I think I got the call like two or three days ago. So that was a very frustrating experience because I was doing everything I thought I was supposed to be doing. We have this wonderful website, supposedly wonderful website for Gap to help um, inside internal um like transfers and promotions and you know stuff like that and i applied for all of the positions all the full-time positions available in new york city and it says on the website that you apply and someone will be back to you within a week that's like the process that everyone goes through and no one got back to me so I called the places that I applied for, talked to the general managers of those stores, and just said, I want you to know that I've applied for these positions. I know it's really busy right now because this was holiday at this point. Those of you who work in retail will know when I say it's holiday, it's holiday, and that's what it means. So I, I, I just said, I want you to know that I've applied. I'm not looking for any interviews right now because it's very, we're very busy. But when you're available to start doing that, I would love to come sit down with you if I look like a good candidate. So, holiday ends. We're getting into January. Um, I give them a couple weeks. Then I call again. And they're like, this is like two or three different places. I call again. They're like, oh, okay, yeah, I remember you. I would, I, uh, Let me give you a call later this week and we'll set up something. So, those calls never come. I go into the stores. Now, I didn't go into every store, but I think, like, 
I went into the Banana Republic store and I went into the Gap on, I don't remember at this point now, 42nd and 3rd? Yeah. And talked to them again. They're like, yeah, we'll get back to you. Mm -mm. They never got back to me. What is going on? I've done everything I'm supposed to do. I followed up two or three times and it's just not happening. So I went to Marnie. Now, I'm not exactly sure what her title is, but she's she's somebody important important in the human relations department. She her office is in the building at Bridgewater. So I went to Marnie and was like, Marnie, I did everything I think I'm supposed to do. And I explained to her what I just explained to you and asked her if I was supposed to do anything else. She said, no, no, you've done everything. Let me write some emails. So she emailed the person in charge of human resources here in Manhattan. And the next day I have an email from um, a lady by the name of Arlene wanting an interview for a part-time position at 59th in Lexington. Like, okay, well, you just have to go to the right people. So I called Arlene back, we set up an interview, and unfortunately, that position, I was, I could have done it. I could have done it. But they gave the position to someone who had a little more experience in high volume stores. But Arlene helped me. She, how do I want to say it? She didn't give up on me. She had, she's currently the acting district manager for Upper Manhattan. <clears throat> so she knew that there was a part-time position available in the store at fifth, no, at 48th and 6th. So she gave them a call and said, I have this kid who would like to work here in the city, yada, yada, yada. And then she called me back. She said, you need to set up an interview with them. So I called and I interviewed with the, the brand experience manager. I got a call from the brand experience manager for that store the other day. And he was like, Chase, we would love to have you. And uh, fortunately, we can offer you full time. So now I'm a brand expert at uh, the store at 48th and 6th. Ah! <laughs> and I will be starting next week sometime.